Hello and welcome to Bad Wolf Girl Sits and Knits episode 46. My name is Meg and I will be your host. You're joining me in Rockville, Maryland, where I live with my husband and our service puppy T. It is Friday, September 15th, and I have survived the second week of school. Yay! <laughs> Um, this is a knitting podcast, so if you are a new viewer, welcome, and if you are a returning viewer, welcome back. I am so grateful to have all of you. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe uh, down below. I'm going to be picking prizes for um, just thank yous for being subscribed to the podcast and all of that. So in order to get in on that, just subscribe down below. Um, you can also find all of the links that you can find me online for Instagram and Ravelry and our group and it's all right down there. So, um, we have two knit-alongs that are going on right now. I say knit-alongs, but crochet is also fine. Um, there is a vintage sweater along with Hannah of the Corner of Craft and the Crafty Chat podcast. And um, she is making a gorgeous cardigan. She started hers. I have started mine. It's sitting back here, but um, it's currently on pause. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I'm going to get to it. I promise. I promise I'll get to it. And then the other one is the bucket list sweater cow with Cassie, who is the raspberry knitter. Um, so please go check her out. She was recently mentioned on the grocery girls, which is super fun. Um, yeah, so that's about it for administration. Oh, I want to thank everyone for getting back to me so promptly with the winners, um, of the bad wolf girl. Christmas in July knit along. That worked really well, or craft along, should I say. Um, I have two winners that are going to be getting prizes from the hashtag InstaSpy giveaway. That's what I've been calling it. So um, the first one here is by Chubbs, Chubbs and Squeak Yarn, Santa's Popsicle. Um, there's Random Fandom Bags, Tea Cozy. And there's an ornament from the Lefty Netter podcast and some tea. This winner is Woman in a Shoe. So I am going to uh, ear burn you so that you can get your address to me and I can send out your prize. The next one is going to be a skein of Bad Wolf Girl Studios in the frost colorway, um, which is actually going to be getting a little bit of a facelift and a rename, and it's going to. Um, either be Night King or Walkers. Uh, also in here is a skein of Gingerbread House uh, by Green Lambkin Yarns. Really, really pretty stuff. Um, and some tea in there. So this one goes to 72 stitches. Um, please get in touch with me and I can ship this out to you. I will tag you on Revelry, no, Instagram, there we go. <laughs> and I will get them out to you. So thank you so much for being active Insta members, using the hashtag. Um, I love seeing all of your projects. Please um, use the hashtags for Bad Wolf Girl Studios um, or Bad Wolf Girl Sits and Knits so I can, I can just see your stuff. That would be great um, if you should care to share. So, moving right along. I do not have a ton of knitting content to share because I have been monogamous this week. I know. Who am I? What have I done with my counterpart? I, I know. I know. It's super weird. Okay, so living in, mildly in, my Ursula bag, which is my tiny one. I should have it in the larger one, but the larger one actually had my other sweater in it, and you don't care. So, I have, as I promised, cast on another pavement sweater, like I said I was going to. So this is Madeline Tosh um, in the chicory colorway, and it is just so cute. So I am, I am so excited about this. I'm going to give you a close-up. Maybe I can get it in on the back. There it is. Really pretty, right? Um, I am making the large size, but I'm casting on the XL size under the arms because I just love it when sweaters are kind of big, a little bit big. So I did add a few extra stitches this time on, around this one. Um, 
it's glorious it's so soft I have been working on this for a week this is how far I've gotten I am almost at the ribbing um, when I measure it I want to say it was at like 10 inches out of 13 before the ribbing so really not too bad um, I thought I would get more done last night but we had back to school and I just didn't get as much plain knitting time as I wanted which was a bummer but it is it's glorious I'm gonna work on it all weekend I hope that I can pop some sleeves on it um, starting Sunday that would be great um, and and okay so this was like basically all I did all week and you can see like why <laughs> It's fantastic. Um, in an everyday is an adventure bag, I did pull out because last, okay, so last week Pat and I were talking about anniversary gifts and I was like, okay, well, he really wants the new um, iWatch, the iPhone, Apple Watch, whatever that is. So I think I'm going to get him that. If I don't get him that, I'm gonna get him enough gift certificates to just go buy it. Cause I know, I know he wants it, but I don't want to get it if he, like, I know he gets a, a discount through work, and I would hate for us to spend more money on something than we need to, um, even though it's a gift. So I, I may just buy gift cards for him in the amount that the watch will cost, and print a picture of it and say, let's go get your watch, because we live across from Best Buy, and I bet I could get it there, or we could get it there. We also live um, around the corner from the Montgomery Mall, and that has a giant um, Apple store in it, so we could do either of those things. I just don't want to spend more than we should. So anyway, in um, Knit Picks Swish, in the navy colorway, um, this is, the Harvest Cardigan by Tin Can Knits. It is so soft. Um, most of this was knit last year. Um, I did that this week. So, yeah, not a lot. <sighs> it's, um, it's glorious, it's soft. Pat asked for a navy cardigan, so I started it gung-ho. I did the whole thing in like two days and then stopped. Um, so this week I got like an inch on it done and I switched it in, uh, back onto the Chiagu size eight, five millimeter needles. Um, and I put in my first buttonhole. So that was exciting. I'm on my way to the next buttonhole and, um, yeah, I've got about that much under the arm. It's, it's beautifully soft. Problem is the larger needle hurts my thumbs when I purl. Knitting is fine. Purling hurts my thumbs the way I hold the needle. So I need to work around that or I need to get used to knitting with larger needles again. I am not sure which it's gonna have to be, but I mean, can I do this? I can't do it. Like, look how good that is. Like, oh, it's so pretty and so soft. It's like, it's so soft. Um, so I thought maybe I could get this done for our anniversary, which would be October 8th. Um, it's September 15th. I don't think it's going to happen. <sighs> so that's why I'm kind of like relying on being able to get on the Apple Watch and just doing that and maybe baking something for our anniversary, get a card. So. I will put in more work on this, but I have to figure out how to do it without hurting my hands. Um, it's just my, the tendons in my thumbs feel really awful after just three rows, four rows of purling. It's not normally this bad. Actually, I'm getting a little bit of pain right now and I'm not even sure what I just did. Okay, so um, this is, I think, two balls, one ball. This might all be from one ball so far. I don't think I've made any Nope, it's the second ball. I just tied on the second ball, I can see it. So it's, um, it's really pretty, it's really, really pretty, but I just don't have the, I don't have the with it to wanna work on it. It's sad. So 
that is all of the whips that I've touched this week. Um, the dotted rays I haven't done anything on. I know I wanted to wear it to the wedding next week. It's not going to get done. I think I'd rather have the sweater right now. Like, I was working on it, and all I could think about was the sweater, and I just put it down. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to put all my energy into something that I know I want right now. Um, because I can wear the sweater to work, and... Oh, it's just calling to me. I kind of, I just want to wrap up in it. I'm very excited about it. So, um, I think after that, I'm going to go back to the, like, I'll do the sweater and then I'll do the shawl. That's kind of how it worked before I did the um, shawl for the dotted rays. And then I finished the sweater and then I'm doing the shawl, but then I put it down so I could do the sweater and then I'll finish the shawl. So that's kind of what I've been working on this week. I'm sorry it's not more. I really did think about just trying to knit a few rows on things to show, but gotta be happy, right? I guess that will move us into Mr. Postman. Um, I've been utterly spoiled this week with two packages. Um, I really just thank you so much for getting in touch. Um, right here. I have the giveaway bag of um, balsam satches. Uh, this is Missy from Minnesota, who also sent me those adorable um, Frankenstein and, um, what is it? No, no. Yeah, Frankenstein and Mrs. Frankenstein. <laughs> Can't think of the woman's name right now. Um, those adorable plates, as well as the awesome popcorn bag that I used for the movies. Um, so these are little sachets that are to go into your knitting. Kind of protect it and make it smell nice in there. These are so cute, these kittens. Oh my word, I can't. They're so cute. Oh my gosh. So um, there's one for me and one for you guys. So I will be including this in a giveaway, which is really exciting. Um, it's just, I can't, they're just, they're just so cute. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. And they smell good. You can like, oh, they're just perfect for the fall. They just smell like fall to me. Like that's what I, oh, that's what I smell. I love it. So the next one is a bit big. <laughs> I got in touch with Nicole and she is the creator behind Mork Made. And I begged her to make something. Um, anything. I just, I have been drooling over her fiber for quite a while and since I had recently gotten back into spinning a little bit, I um, got one thing off the spindle and I knew that um, I wanted, I wanted more made on my drop spindle pretty desperately. So, here we go. <sighs> this box was huge and it says pretty things inside, which understatement, understatement. So, okay, first off, there was this little box in here, little, little box in here, as opposed to the whole box, that had tiny goodies in it, like a lab puppy in glass, I just, I can't even with that one. I'm so excited. Um, it was all tied up in bows and it took me a minute to realize that this is all hand spun. So I'm gonna put it in a Christmas ornament and I'm gonna have it inside the ornament. I'm not throwing anything away. Um, there was chocolate from David's Tea, which I'm drooling over. There's a little sheepy bag from David's Tea that, um, it says juicy teas, so it has five different David teas that are all berry themed. Oh my gosh. Then stitch markers, a little container there, and then this was just too sweet. I, I started opening it up and I was like, hmm, what is this? It came with these adorable little Christ oh, sorry, he's facing the wrong way. Christmas ornament pieces. So you're supposed to like take them and hang them like this. So there's me and then there's Patrick. Ah, I can't. 
can't. I'm so excited. I can't get it on. There it is. Ah! <laughs> Look how cute they are. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I can't. They're so sweet. Ah! Oh. This is just, and there were two little blank ones. Oh, so cute. I can't. Oh. There was the coolest card ever, which actually I already have hung up. It's a dragon holding a hank of yarn or skein of yarn as the girl winds a ball from it. She's like sitting on his arm. Oh, I'll have to, I'll have to put in a picture because it's downstairs right now. So. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Oh my gosh. So, um, there are two bats in here that are 20 gram. There is um, one, one for me and one for you guys. And I am still deciding. Right now, I think this one's the one I'm gonna keep and this one's the one I'm gonna give away but I will let you know once I fully figure that out. Oh my gosh, they're so glorious though. They have merino, tussa silk, cultivated silk, silk noil, firestar, and angelina. And it's two ounces, oh, two ounces, sorry. I read the O is a zero. Two ounces, oh my gosh, it's only two ounces. Whoa, jeez. And then this little baby. Oh my gosh. Now I'm gonna put I'm gonna put this down so I can properly. Oh my gosh, guys. Guys, 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 guys. I can't. I can't. I cannot even. Ah. Words fail me in this instance. Words fail me. Um, the silk is as soft as puppy's ears. And if you are familiar with puppy ears, they're really soft. The silk feels like T's ears when she lets me pet them. Oh my gosh, Did you see this? But wait, it gets crazier. Hold on, I like barely started to do this last night because I didn't wanna I didn't wanna take it too far apart. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Ah! Look at the sparkly. I can't. Guys. She's having an update this weekend. Are you drooling yet? Because I'm dying over here. I don't even know. Oh my gosh, it's so soft. I don't know where to start. I don't know how to start. How do you break up something this gorgeous? Am I supposed to just grab a color? Am I supposed to grab... I... 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 <laughs> Kristen, how do you break into something like this? Gabby? Anyone? How does one, how does one drop spindle such a thing? Cause I don't have a spinning wheel, I have a drop spindle. So I get to touch all of this gorgeousness as I drop spin. Oh my word, oh my word. I don't know where to start. And this actually seems to be folded. Yeah, so it unfolds one more time. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It is the most stunning piece. Wow, Nicole, <laughs> there aren't words. I can't thank you enough. This is absolutely stunning. Your work is gorgeous and I could not be more grateful to own this. Um, if you wanna message me with any pointers of how to break into something so stunning and oh my gosh, the silk is is the softest puppy ears I've ever felt. Like, buttered kittens, all of it, all of it. Buttered kittens plus puppy ears is the silk. Just And there's fiber on me and I don't even care. Oh, I don't even care. That pink, this pink, oh my gosh, it's glorious. Is it best to grab 
something soft with something that isn't as soft to like make it stronger. Um, I've never plied anything. Everything that I have spun so far is just single because I've never plied it on itself. Um, should I ply it? How does one ply things? These are videos I need to do. Um, I, I really, I am, I am at a loss at the stunning gorgeousness of this and I am not sure how I'm going to break into it. <sighs> so, just my like Miss America, you know, type of thing. Oh my gosh, gosh, it's so stunning. It's so stunning, I can't thank you enough. So, um, if you are all Twitterpated over this fiber, you should find yourself at Nicole's Mork Made Etsy shop this weekend, this Saturday, tomorrow. You should find it tomorrow because you're desperately gonna want some and I think I might go get myself something else just to support her because so gorgeous so gorgeous just a few little things for bad wolf girl studios i'm very excited to say that our kits are going to go up on monday at 12 p.m eastern standard time i figured that this was a time when people would be able to be awake for it if i picked during the day rather than the night so that it wasn't like 2 a.m or somewhere for someone somewhere um so i tried Let's hope that that's okay. Uh, I also got some buttons that will be included in the packages and giveaways. Um, if you would like a button with your order when you place an order, I am going to put up a listing for a button. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll, um, if you want to include it in your order, add it to your cart. Uh, that way I'm not... I'm not going to say wasting, but that way I'm not giving away buttons to people that are just going to throw them out. Because it's like 10, 20 cents a button, which doesn't sound like a lot. But when you want to order like 100 buttons and you spend $25 on it, it would be really disappointing if $10 was thrown out. Know what I mean? So if you want one and, you know, that's it. Just add it to cart. Um, also, I am doing a... So Mondays is Corpse Bride, very excited. It's going to be gorgeous. Um, I am going to put up just the picture of Corpse Bride and then um, I am going to, I try not to spoil it for people who don't wanna be spoiled. Yeah, no, if you wanna know what it is, it's on the Instagram and all you have to do is swipe. I'm just gonna put up a picture of Corpse Bride and um, if you want it, you'll know what you're getting into. Uh, I just don't wanna spoil it for anyone who might be trying to keep it as a secret for themselves. Uh, that's all. Uh, so yes, that'll be going out on Monday. I will be shipping them as early as Tuesday. Uh, all I have to do is print the label, slap them on the bags. I have my little goodie bags all made up, so yeah, I'm just saying, it's gonna be great. Um, another collaboration that I'm doing, I reached out to Christy of Frosted Betty's and um, Sugar Tots on Etsy, and I was like, I really love your work, would you be interested in doing a collab at some point? Um, and this was a little while ago, we both got really busy, which is good, being swamped is great, um, but finally we have gotten into an Alice in Wonderland collaboration. Um, Christy is going to make a bag and a charm, and I'm going to be provided the yarn. I believe there's gonna be 12 slots, in all or 10 slots I think 12 slots in all but I will confirm that I have dyed up the skein of yarn and this is going to be it so if you want to be surprised don't look I am calling it Alice in the Roses and here it is Uh, 
Uh, it photographs beautifully. I cannot wait to put it up. It's going to be just gorgeous. Um, and these, I will let you know when they're gonna go up into the shop. Um, yes, I feel very scattered, I'm so sorry. I'm very excited with this collaboration. If, oh, sorry, you can look back now. I'm very excited with this collaboration and um, I hope you will be too. My last little bit is going to be, um, I was on uh, webs the other day and I um, was just looking through sock yarn, stuff like that. Um, so yes, this is, this is main suck design, suck and design. Um, design is by Sabine Walsh and um, it's an opal, which is a 75% uh, wool, 25% polyamid. And I got this color for Pat. Um, the last, so this looks a lot like a koi pond color that I made him from Knit Picks. And um, those are merino and nylon. These are going to be sturdier. They also kind of stripe, which I need me some stripes if I'm going to make some socks. Just throwing it out there. Um, so I bought this for him, and it's actually it's quite a lot, so I could probably make some short socks for myself. This is, um, hmm, I'm trying to think of. Uh, there's two, what design is this? Um, Einhornlieb, 9372, Einhornlieb, uh, Hannah, you can tell me how terrible my German was. <laughs> so, whoop. so anyway, our anniversary is coming up and I was thinking if I'm not going to get the sweater done, I could knock out a pair of socks in a week if I wanted to. Um, I would probably use one and a half, US one and a half. So I'm going to kind of look through, I'm gonna look through my needles, I'm gonna find some needles for this, and I am going to knit him a pair of socks for our anniversary. Um, yeah, because I know I'm not gonna get that sweater done quite yet. I'm thinking maybe for Christmas, that sweater could be done. That that seems like a, a better timeline. And um, I think I've kind of got my personal sweater bug out of my body for a little bit. I'm feeling like I'm coming out of the fever now. <laughs> I have, um, this will be four sweaters, four beautiful, well-fitting sock weight sweaters that I will own for myself. And I am very pleased with that. Um, I'll keep working on my test knit. That's on a US 7, so that'll work up really fast. Um, I wanna work more on pats. Even if I get one buttonhole done a week, um, I think there's, say, five buttons. So in five weeks, I would have the full body done, and then I could switch to the ribbing and bind off, and then, um, I can knit the sleeves in probably a week, yeah, probably a week or so, and it's just something that has to be done. I have to do it for him. I have to do it for him because he wants it. So, you know, you know what I mean. When you just love someone, you just, you, even if it's something, I mean, it's so soft. I picked really pretty yarn, but I've just been so distracted, oh, so distracted so bad. Anyway, um, so gonna cast these on. I'll work on them. I'm probably gonna work on them in front of him. I'm just not gonna tell him. And when they show up in his little gift bag with an Apple Watch, I think he'll be very pleased with them. Um, he asked me some very pointed questions about my wedding bouquet. I think I know what he's trying to do. Uh, I don't know, I just have a really, really large hunch. But I don't want to spoil it for myself because I hate people who ruin surprises. Um, all right, that sounded really harsh. I hate it when people ruin surprises for me. That sounded less harsh, there we go. Um, I love surprises, I do love surprises. And I, I hate it when people try to ruin surprises that I'm trying to do for them too. That makes me really, really sad. So yeah, he doesn't do that ever, which is great. Um, this is going to move me right into Babel. 
Um, it is about one o'clock and my mom and grandma just left Delaware and they are on their way to the apartment. They're staying the weekend. So I figured I would try to podcast quickly and get it in and edited and up before they get here so that I can entertain without feeling bad that I'm still missing out on the podcast. Um, school has been good. Um, my kids are good. I've got gotten maybe 10 new kids over the entire school year. Um, so far, okay. Some of them, I can see why they didn't stay at another school because they probably caused a lot of trouble there. So I'm hoping that they settle in and that this goes away, but um, we're working through. Uh, it's been busy. There were two back to school nights. I did try to knit through both of them, but you know, it's just, you have to be available as well as, you know, engaging. So I didn't really get to knit as much as I wanted to. Um, so those were two late nights. I have not gotten to the gym since Sunday, which is bad, bad, bad. I just went to go and get my Maryland driver's license. I put it off for a year, so I had to finally take take the plunge. I'm going to be a Maryland resident. So weird still. Anyway, um, so I went and got it done this morning and I, I tell the woman my weight and she just looks at me and goes, no. I'm like, what? yes. She's like, no, no, <laughs> I don't believe you. And I'm like, Thank you, I think. <laughs> like, so she's like, no, you can't weigh that. Like, you have to weigh less. And I'm like, well, I, I wish you were right, but thank you. Uh, so she actually put me 10 pounds lighter on my license because she didn't believe me when I told her the number. Hysterical, absolutely hysterical. Got a really good kick out of that. Um, so on the subject of weight loss, uh, knitting is a very sedentary path and uh, I am trying to get a bit better with keeping up my mobility. I want to be strong. I want to be able to do the runs and not die. I want to be able to be healthy. I want to feel good in my clothes. Um, I'm having trouble like pants are fitting tighter and tighter. Tops aren't fitting quite how they used to. My dresses aren't fitting quite how they used to. I've had a very lazy summer, I guess. Relaxing, for sure. Enjoyable, definitely. Oh, healthy? Mm, not as much as it could be. Uh, so I'm trying to shed a little light and get better. I've been talking about this a couple of months on the podcast, but I always feel that it's good to mention that it's hard to stay on track. You're not alone. It's just hard, but um, finding something that you enjoy can make it worth it, and that's what I'm trying to do. We are one month out from Runner's World. That means we are also one month out from Rhinebeck. So all of you lovely viewers that are going to Rhinebeck, congratulations. I will miss you terribly. I will be running a 5K in Bethlehem. It's like two hours away from where we're staying in Bethlehem too, so it's like not even, like if it were a half hour, I would get my butt there. <laughs> like I would find a way. I can't, I can't, and it's, it's a vacation that we're taking for ourselves, um, the puppy's coming, it's kind of for our anniversary, <sighs> best I could do, right? So I will actually be going to a, a local yarn store up in Bethlehem if anyone's in the area, wants to kind of swing by, I will let you know what it's called because I can't remember right now, my mom found it, it's in a redone bank, I want to say. Uh, really pretty online. Um, so I'll let you know what that is if anyone's in the area and wants to swing by. Um, so yes, staying active. I have signed up for Girls on the Run. Last year I was like, oh yeah, I should help. I should do this. And then I didn't. I did not. I did not at all. Um, I kind of came for the 5k in the spring. It was like 90 degrees outside. It was so hot. And um, I have resolved that I'm going to be running with the girls two times a week after school for an hour. It's not like a straight hour, it's, you know, warm ups, cool downs, walking, all that. But I, if they need me, then I need them. I need them to keep me accountable and motivated 
and to show up twice a week and get my runs in. So if I, if I run twice a week after school and once on the weekends, I can get nine, 10 miles a, a week and that would give me like 40 miles a month and that would give me a healthy lifestyle. Personally, that's how I was doing really well in the past and I would like to keep going with that. Um, I will take a picture. Pat and I have just hung up all of our run medals and they're in our, uh, not hallway, stairwell, right over here going up and down the loft and I'll take a picture. It's a sight to behold. I did a lot of virtual runs. I've done, God, I, I know I'm over a thousand miles on my body. A thousand miles on these feet. So I would like to keep building with that. I want to keep going with that. So wish me luck. And um, if anyone wants to uh, friend me on Fitbit or anything like that, uh, I will get on the Fitbit right now. I know there's one person that I said I wouldn't and that I didn't get to yet, but I will. Don't worry. I will. I'm sorry. I'm terrible. <sighs> Anyway, um, so yes, uh, it is a month out from Rhinebeck, so I'm very excited for all of you, and I'm very excited for me because the week before, um, October 14th, I am going to the Ren Fair in Maryland, and I'm so excited. I have three of my girlfriends coming over, and we're all gonna go to Maryland Ren Fair. We're gonna get dressed up, and it's gonna be glorious, and I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited. I don't know what I'm gonna do with my hair yet because this is clearly not Ren Fair hair. And I cannot seem to find the half weave that I've sewed, um, which is like a wig that I pop all of this under and then it attaches here and I usually fold my front pieces on top of it and then I have like hair down to my rib cage. Uh, can't seem to find that one. So it, it's probably in a box at home somewhere, which good Lord help me. Uh, so yes, that's what I'm gonna be working on is kind of like getting my costuming together. I am going to, um, I'm gonna be some sort of royalty. Yeah. And um, I'm hoping that I can get this bag. Uh, George Ann's been working on something that I just, I'm so excited about and no pressure, but I'm really, really excited. So I will definitely be sharing and promoting that. Um, George Ann is the wonderful maker of Stitching Plaza and 606 Main Podcast. Uh, so yeah, I guess that about wraps things up. <sighs> it's been a crazy week. It's been a crazy week and I haven't, I feel I have a lot of knitting done. I just only did it on one thing. So I feel bad that there wasn't 18 objects to show you this week as I normally have. I need to pick up on the socks and stuff again. They're portable, they're easy. I didn't take my school Scott sock. School socks to blah, 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 blah. School socks to school. I left them here at home because I um, yeah, wanted to work on my sweater. So I'm gonna go work on that now. Um, probably burn an incense candle just so it smells pretty in here. Everything's been vacuumed. I've got some wash in. I think I might have some water. I am parched. Just realizing that I am so parched. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm hoping. Oh, and happy birthday, Kay. I know your birthday is either past or like right within this weekend. So um, I hope your birthday's awesome. And uh, yeah, any questions, comments, go down below. Um, it's been wonderful hanging out with you and I hopefully will have a finished object and tons of whips to talk about next week. Uh, in the meantime, remember to take it one cup at a time and I'll see you soon. Bye.